your emergency? There's been a wreck at the Park Street side of the high school. How many cars involved? There are two cars. Two cars. Uh, can you tell uh, who was injured? Uh, I don't know. There are people hanging all over everywhere and lots of blood. Does there appear to be somebody ejected from one of the vehicles? Uh, they're, they're hanging outside windows. Okay. Is there any uh, fire or wires down in the area? No, I don't see anything, but I do see smoke. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to get the fire and EMS personnel on the way there. If you can have people not move anybody, uh, just make sure that they're safe and uh, we'll be there just shortly. Okay, hurry up. Okay, we're on our way, ma'am. Telling me Kelsey was Kelsey was one of the individuals involved. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, we just found out about it. You try and tell them. Yeah. You try and tell them about the dangers. Senior Friday Harbor High School drowned Tuesday, April 21st, as a result of a sailing accident. Sharon and several friends had taken a boat out in Griffin Bay for the afternoon for a sail party. It went and had several six packs of beer were consumed. A sudden squall came up and the mainsail swung out of control. The boom hit Sharon Shannon in the head, sending her overboard. Divers later recovered her body. The autopsy revealed a blood alcohol of 0 0.01. Shannon, age 18, is the daughter of Pam and Craig Alvarado. She is also survived by her brother Daniel and sister Aaron. Shannon especially enjoyed sharing time with friends at the beach and playing Xbox 360. A memorial service will be held at a later date to be announced. Responders will be the sheriff's deputies. Their job will be to immediately assess the situation, make contact with the vehicle and the victims, and prepare the scene for the EMTs. First jobs of the sheriff's deputy is to extinguish the smoke and look for any possible fire that could cause further injury. medical team arrives, they will declare this a mass casualty incident, one that exceeds the capacity of local resources, and all available personnel will be called to the scene. As many as 30 EMTs, dozens of firefighters, and sheriff's deputies. As soon as all responders are on site, they will follow national standards for response protocol, which means an incident commander will coordinate 
all of the activities of the various personnel. I've just been informed that the person lying on the hood of the car to your left has been declared DOA How much have you made to drink? and will be removed to the black tarp and placed in a body bag. Do you understand any expressions that so far? Yeah. One of the sheriff's deputies is performing a field sobriety test Don't move your to determine the alcoholic content of the driver of one of the vehicles. Back a little bit from no. anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> the coroner is supervising the removal of the body into the body bag. A helicopter has been requested from Airlift Northwest. It will arrive imminently and no further information is available. In order to remove the victims from one of the cars, a hearse tool sometimes called the jaws of life was used. The person on the red tarp will be airlifted in the helicopter you see overhead. They have severe abdominal injuries and very limited consciousness. They will be flown to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle.